Okay, welcome back everybody. <laughs> I've got some tales to tell that have nothing to do with like, you know, Bobby Mackey's or anything in Wilder. Um, I'm going to go back to, you know, Fort Thomas, um, where I grew up. Um, and I'm sure you guys remembered and from a pre or will remember from a previous video that I mentioned I was on the radios several years ago. Oh, that's that uh, knife scene from Psycho where it's, you know, the knife through the shower curtain and the woman screaming. Sorry about that. Um, but uh, one of the stories is, uh, and I wanted to share this with you guys. Back, my back in my junior year of high school, I had a teacher named Mr. Keller. He was a great teacher. I absolutely loved him to death as an English teacher. I remember it was on Halloween. He actually, excuse us, excuse me, and this, and I'll tie this in with, you know, like the legend of Sleepy Hollow and everything. We were talking about, you know, like the legend of Sleepy Hollow and the part of the section that I was, of that class that I was allowed to skip or, you know, actually, you know, given you know, like a break from him because I was taking a lot of AP English. I took an AP English slash drama class in my sophomore year. So I was kind of given a lot of, you know, lax my junior year because of it. Because I had studied the Crucible the year before, which was required junior reading. So, I mean, it did actually cut me some slack. And this also goes into Halloween stuff. Uh, we, you know, had just finished reading, or we had either just finished reading it, or we were in the middle of reading The Crucible. And what Mr. Keller did was he has pulled our desk back, sat us in a circle, uh, and we told, tur he turned off the lights, and we all told scary stories to each other. My junior year, and I remember this. This is like one of my fondest memories of high school. And... I don't have very many of those, uh, but yeah, we sat around and I told Pig Lady that I just told you in a couple of previous videos, um, somebody told about the gates of hell that is up in Fort Thomas. Uh, supposedly in the north end of town in Fort Thomas, there's a certain former football player's house that's located on or near the gates of hell, or so I'm told. Uh, I don't totally believe it. I didn't believe it then. I don't now. But one of the football team told me that. Or told the class that. And myself as well. I, I'll believe that one that a pigs fly. You know, or I see, or as they say in Disney's Dumbo, when it, I see an elephant fly. Yeah. And I mean, we're talking a real Dumbo elephant. Okay? Uh, but yeah, I mean, they, you know, he told that story. Um, it, and it's just, you know, I'm sure there's more, you know, good, you know, scary stories and stuff from this area. Um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to um, kind of wrap everything up right now in the series for the time being. If I think up any other stories, I'll share them with you. But I do want to, you know, close this series out for the time being with saying, you know, if any of you in the area, you know, are... Um, either A, interested in having me come over and, you know, help you with your Halloween stuff, let me know. Or B, any of you that have, you know, a good, you know, like urban legend or, you know, something you've heard that may or may not necessarily be true about Northern Kentucky, like a ghost-related story or <clears throat> anything that's, you know, like about, like, Cincinnati ghost-related. And just so some of you know, yes, I already covered the art museum. And I'm trying to work out something on Union Terminal. So if you know anything good about Union Terminal, go ahead and send me something on it. Or if you know anything, you know, good that isn't like up in the middle of nowhere. Um, and don't, please don't send me the one about the haunted green car and that goofy bend, okay? Uh, that one I'm not interested in. I'm more focusing on Kentucky <laughs> and something like in downtown Cincinnati that I can go to during the day. Okay, no offense. Um, or, you know, like, if you want to send me something from Indiana, you know, like, southeastern Indiana, close to me, in the in the I-275 loop, 
I'd be open to that also, okay? And I do want to thank you guys for watching this series that I've created. And happy Halloween, children. <laughs> or as the Kurgan says from Highlander, happy Halloween, ladies. <laughs> Ha <laughs>